welcome back to the channel guys, Tim here, Energy and Martial Arts. Uh, before we get started, yeah, I know you don't wanna, if you don't wanna tap in Jiu-Jitsu, at least tap the subscribe button. Oh man, I know that's cringe, but 80% of the people watching are not subscribed. Come on guys, make our day, click the subscribe button, click the like button, like Yolinda, share the video. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. We'll just get to it. We're gonna do something today that I really enjoy, uh, Jiu-Jitsu in general, but today we're gonna do no gi de la Hiva. Let's just get to it and uh, we'll show you how it's done. Push. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first off, no gi de la Hiva is a bit of a controversial guard because in the gi it's more applied because of a few things. I'm gonna discuss them pretty quick as framework. So in the gi I have good control of her upper body and her lower body. So we might have a control on the sleeve or on the lapel or on the belt. Now in no gi, even if I did manage to get a grip, some form of grip, it's easy to, to peel off. Even if it's, if it's elbow deep or anything, it's very easy to strip these grips, especially with short sleeve rash guards. But that doesn't mean we cannot apply the nogi guard, uh, sorry, the Delahiva guard in nogi. But I wanna explain to you guys, it's gonna be a transitional guard. So I don't want anyone to be here, control the Delahiva and then say, okay, let's go. You're not gonna wait here. It's gonna be a guard, you're gonna off-balance your opponent, you're gonna enter into more established guards. Um, we're just gonna look at some framework before we get started into sweeps, entries, etc. So first off, in the gi, I might have a very deep Delahiva hook. So my hamstring is behind her knee and I might even put my foot on the far side hip. But in gi, there's a few risks here. There's a risk of getting toe-holded here. Well, that also applies in the gi for higher belts. But there's also the risk of Yolinda backstabbing, controlling my knee line, and entering into the 411 saddle, and start attacking with leg locks here. Now, we're just gonna quickly cover those things. Um, how to uh, use the Nogi Della Hiva guard to, to prevent her from going into the backstab 411. We keep the shallow hook. So my hook is pretty shallow on her thigh. My foot is hooking, I have a pretty good angle. If I'm squared up with Yolinda, it's very hard for me to get this hook behind her thigh. So I'm on my left butt cheek, I control here and there's space between the shallow hook whilst controlling her ankle. Now, there's a reason, if we're gonna transition into different inside guard systems, why we start off in the, in the Della Hiva on the outside. Because if I can get an inside guard, maybe I can enter easier into single leg X. Yeah, we have some videos on that and shin to shin. But imagine Yolinda starting off standing, yeah? And she's gonna push me over and get the inside position. So go for, now it's very hard to get this leg back on the inside to go for shin to shin or single leg X. So that's when, if she gets the inside position, I either play inside reverse De La Hiva, or in this case, I play the De La Hiva, yeah? Now, that's how, how and why we enter and the things we have to look out a little bit whilst in the De La Hiva. Okay. Now we get into some basic drills here. So first off, as we have the shallow De La Hiva, mind you, once again, I cannot relax here, yeah? She will just start passing, put pressure, knee cutting, I have to put pressure back, etc. So the hook is used for pulling and keeping her close to me, and my hamstring on her shin uh, is gonna use for pushing and preventing her from getting a lot of pressure. I can also turn a little bit and push her knee inwards, so it's harder for her to knee cut, but we'll get to that a bit later. For now on, I want you to start with some basic things. I don't wanna keep this foot dangling here, yeah, and give her good control, leg drag, switch to the other side, etc. I'm either gonna push, but for first one, I'm gonna pull behind the hook. We're gonna do a basic sweep from here. Yeah? As I keep pushing her, extending her, and playing with her balance, yeah, like so, I'm gonna hook behind her knee, put the front foot on the hip, and make a tripod sweep as I sit up and start collecting points and passing. I assume most people watching know a basic tripod sweep. If not, uh, check out some video on a tripod sweep. We have one on the channel or anyone else. So I start disbalancing, I hook, I push on the hip, push, pull, and pull, sweep. Now I sit up to control and get my points, get a top position, yeah? I can enter for leg locks, double scoop passes, start passing, score my points. So I think the tripod is maybe a good place to start off. Now the tripod is the one where I pull and sweep, and now we're gonna work with pushing. Now as I start pushing Yolinda's far side knee away with the inside of my foot, I don't wanna stay flat on my back. So I'm not gonna go like this. I want to sit up whilst pushing, like so, in one move, yeah? Now we're gonna use that to wrestle back up. So as I push, I extend, I sit up. Now, the hand that was controlling her ankle goes elbow deep behind her knee, and I'm gonna make like a technical get up. So I'm gonna use my right hand and my left foot. Left foot, right hand, yeah? Now I'm collecting your Linda's leg. If I stand up towards her, her weight and her leg, I'm gonna get stuck here, yeah? I'm gonna fall back over. So watch what I'm doing with the foot that first extends. Here, extending, and I'm gonna lift her leg up like so to get into my single leg here, yeah? From there, I can either stand and do a single leg takedown, or what I like to do is use that momentum to pull my leg out. Let's go a bit more to the side, thank you. So I use the momentum to get up, out, chase the back, and make takedowns, okay? So wrestling up with the single leg, 
and the tripod sweep, I think, are two basic things you can do from here that aren't necessarily uh, the De La Hiva, but more how to use the De La Hiva to enter into those things. Yeah, once again, you get the outside position, you start this balancing, you either tripod sweep or you extend the get up with the single leg. Oh, by the way, it's important if you do a single leg to do the technical get up on the side with your head positioning on the inside. If you do it the other way around, she can just turn 180 degrees and get my back. Yeah, it's, you don't want that happening. So if we're here, if she wants to turn to the back now, it's very hard. My head is on the inside, place it high, start playing my, uh, my single leg takedowns. Okay, now let's go a bit deeper in uh, detail. Another basic sweep yeah, that we can do without upper body control, which I don't really like, especially with leg locks in interfering, just want to show you real quick, is getting this one to the far side hip, this one low, scissoring or backwards, start getting up and passing. Um, so just some basic sweeps. Yeah. Now we'll get into the more advanced stuff. So the same pushing mechanic I use in entering the single leg, I'm going to use to go to single leg X. Now mind you, that sounds like a similar position, but single leg is a takedown, a single leg X is a guard form. So we're playing the shallow della Hiva, yeah, controlling. As I push her away, this knee becomes stretched. Now I can do that by pushing her away, or she might do that by blocking my shin with her grip and extending her hamstring to strip my grip, like so. We're gonna go that in a video where we play defensive della Hiva, but for now, she's gonna extend her hamstring to strip my grip. Now, if I have a sticky hook, extend your hamstring, I might have control a little bit, so she see, she see grips on my shin and then strips it, boom. But you see there's space between her knee now and my glutes. So I can make that happen by pushing her away. This leg pommels in and I enter for the single leg X. Yeah, usually when she starts stepping back, I control the second leg, enter for my single leg X sweep and either get on top and pass or go for a uh, Ashigarami. So regardless, whether she strips the grip and makes space, or I create space, I pommel this foot back in, yeah? Now to get my foot on the hip, you see I'm stuck. I have to scoot in a little bit. You can use your hand or the heel back on the mat as I lift into the single leg X. A bit tighter would be to transition first to shin to shin and immediately control the second leg. So look, push, pommel, shin to shin, single leg X. One more time. Shallow de la Hiva, disbalance, push, get up, insides, shin to shin, fall to the side, single leg X. And now from single leg X, we can go into X guard, reverse X, 411, sweeps, etc. We have a different video on that. But just entering from a transitional guard, the de la Hiva, to a more established guard, the single leg X, that's what we want to do. Once again, if she's standing, I'd rather just straight away go for the inside position with single leg X, but she might pommel to the inside. Push me over, get the inside. Now it's hard for me to get that double inside position. So that's why I start off in the De La Hiva, make distance, and then enter into the shin to shin. Okay, so these are a few of the basic things to get into single leg X. Yeah, from there you can go to X guard, whatever. Now let's do some different things. Also, just to show you how the De La Hiva Nogi can transition into the X guard sweeps, yeah? Same applies, even if she's a bit further, if she starts cutting that angle, she starts getting a cross face, sitting down. Yeah, cross face on the hook. Yeah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, yes. Now I don't push her up, I push her away. I start getting my sweep here, okay? So if my opponent stays a bit more upright, we're gonna use the same X guard. So if she gets the angle, yeah, I'm gonna switch to the X guard. Now, mind you, it's a bit of a modified X, so I'm not actually making an X, I'm just keeping this knee in between and my foot on the knee as I extend her. Now, as I extend her, I'm going to stand up using my hand, making like a technical get up. So extend her, get this foot back, and get up. Now, if she starts hopping away from me, I get a gable grip, catch her behind the knee, and drag her down to the mat, and from there I start chasing the back. Option two is she tries to turn a little bit back into me. Yeah, so, so she goes, when we go for the X guard. Now, she starts to face me back again. I'm just gonna foot sweep and start passing the get from there, double scoop or knee cut pass or anything. Now, final thing is, if she does the same front step, now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna enter for the Kayoteha lock. Now, the thing with the Kayoteha lock is, what's pretty hard for a lot of people, is getting this hand all the way through her leg and on top of my own hip. Now, you see, I'm having a pretty hard time reaching there, okay? It's easier if she front steps, yeah? I can make her front step using this one, getting her forward once again, but in this case, I usually do it as she strips the grip, and I switch my hip here. So, you see my hip just switched, my hand is all the way on top of my thigh. Now, please be careful during this with your partner because you might hurt them a little bit, okay? Now, I'm gonna push with my hamstring on her shin as I hook this leg. We're gonna go that way as I push and extend. 
Okay? Now from here, turn towards the camera please. From here, I'm gonna keep pressure. You can try and keep the hook in, I'm not flexible enough to do that. Keep pressure with the hamstring as I start finishing there for the Coyote Lock. If you wanna get more in depth on that, check our DVD or just YouTube for Coyote Lock. You have the whole thing. So these are some options from the X guard and from the front step going into the Coyote Lock. Now the final part, which I think is the coolest, if what if she back steps. So, if Yolinda still wants to do any form of backstepping, even combined with pushing my leg down or not, yeah, I'm not gonna race back to square off with her. I'm gonna chase her back. So as soon as I can see her back, I'm gonna chase it. So let's go a little bit more that way. Yes, thank you. So we're here, playing the shallow della Hiva, always disbalancing, keeping pressure on her guard because we don't have much control. We don't have the upper body. So I need to keep playing this game of disbalance Switch to other guards. Okay, as soon as she does start backstepping, maybe she does want to go, I pommel this one into the close side. Kiss of the dragon, control her hips, and start chasing the back here. One more time from a different angle. So we play the shallow della Hiva. Same side. Yes, we play the shallow della Hiva. Yeah. She starts turning backwards, or one step back, please. I start pushing her knee in, and I start walking myself back to her back. So I can also do that when she puts the grip off. I'm not fighting this back end, it's too, she's too strong. So I put the heel at my butt and I start scooting backwards. Yeah, either that or she steps backwards. I pummel this leg in, I have two hooks in. I sit up, if I cannot reach, I sit up, extend my legs and go for the back take here. So the kiss of the dragon, just quickly to refer you to the normal kiss of the dragon. So now we pummel backwards. The normal one will be from reverse Zaleva. As I start inverting here, get to the back side, pummel, yeah, and do the normal kiss of the dragon. Yeah, but to go in depth on that, check out our Reverse De La Hiva video. Now for the slower one. If she backsteps or she starts going for the back, I wedge this knee in between. So I wedge my knee, I control the far side hip, and I just throw her over as I keep pushing, pulling, and get to the top position to get like this leg drag position, start chasing her back from this side, scoring a sweep. Final option, this one is also from the DVD if from that back I want to chase some more leg locks, especially if she starts turning, I'll just invert, get into 50-50, yeah, to take her down from there. So if instead you want to spin for leg lock entries for the second leg instead of the 50-50, yeah, I'm going to use this momentum, pommel this one on the inside, and spin all the way over to him and I roll this side. Yeah, I start entering either double trouble and attacking for the inside heel here. Or if we want to do leg lock entries with a bit more control instead of just spinning, we go for the same 50-50 as we just had. Uh, sorry, not the same one. We go for backside 50-50 this time. And we're going to use a shallow K guard. So I put my hook in, shallow K guard on the backside of her knee to keep pressure. And I control her leg if she starts running away. Yeah? I usually, if she starts framing back into me, put pressure here on the hip or if she starts pushing back in the armpit. And I reap over with this leg, going over to the backside, lifting her leg to the upside, yeah? catching my grip, reverse figure four. And if she backsteps, push away and get into my 90-10. Start finishing with my inside heel hook here. The final one I just want to cover quick. Um, there's also some bidding bolo options from here if she sells down, but there's different videos on that, so I don't want to go in depth on that one. And also the mantis guard. We don't go into mantis guard today. I'll just do one quick thing to show you. Uh, maybe do a different video on that one day. So the mantis guard is where we play the della Hiva. Now instead of being on the outside, yeah, I pummel my leg through and catch my own shin. Yeah, so I go underneath and catch my own shin. And from there, we have some cool stuff to do, if we have it. Now, I'm not gonna release this hand, because if I release this hand, she can just step away, I only have this hook. So I use this hand to control the backside of her knee, yeah, and then I switch to the mantis guard, yeah? If from here, I manage to pull her towards me and kick her over, it's easy for me to control the second leg, I use my knee as a wedge to tumble them over. Now we end a little bit awkward, you can transition to leg locks here, but the easiest thing is to pummel to the inside and start getting on top. Yeah, let's go a bit more. Start getting on top, and from there on, stay pull, start passing. Yeah, we'll go back into the legs. Once again, we're not gonna go in depth on the, the bolo options or the mantis guard. Uh, but we just wanna see the whole overview of Nogi Della Hiva, the options from there, countless options from basic tripod sweeps and X guards to entries into single leg X, more established guards, etc. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.